Hey guys, this is Battlemix with Mix Training, and how exciting is this, right? Rendermark for Houdini. I'm sure you all uh, heard the news, and it's it's in Houdini. Cool. So what is this? It says it's a bridge. Side effects and Pixar are developing this. She's pretty cool. Comes out of the box. No additional cost for you. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Let's see what it does. Uh, it has all the features here. The only thing I'm missing, and this is the interacting shading, which will be available soon. So, cool. So it supports everything. As but how do we use this? Is does this come with Houdini? Is it installed with Houdini? Should I just install Houdini? So all those questions will be answered here. All right. So what you need is a version of Houdini that it's 15.5 or later, which is the latest, and you need a copy of RenderMan. You can use your production version of RenderMan or you can use the uh, non-commercial edition. So download whatever version you need to use. You can go to the uh, non-commercial RenderMan version here. For Houdini, you will need something that it's not the apprentice version. So it will work with indie and uh, the production and the effects versions. So you need one of those versions because the apprentice version is blocked for external renders. All right, so I already downloaded uh, the installer and it's here using Linux. I'm gonna open a terminal. I'm gonna type the name of the file to do RPM install. And then I'm just gonna copy the name here. So I'm gonna install that, run it, type my password. It's installing. All right, now that that is installed, if you go to your OPT folder, Pixar, it will install this folder here. You can see I have other versions installed here, but th this is what it's gonna install. In the bin folder, you need to run this installer. You could just double click it, but it won't work. So again, we need just a terminal. Let me just, I'm gonna run this as an administrator. So now you, you will run your your install here uh, if you're using the uh, non-commercial edition it will just ask you for your forum and password id so just type those there all right now that you enter your details there you are presented with the uh, installation options here what you need to install here is the renderman pro server so click the show all button here if you have versions of uh, Maya that you want to install, you can do it that here. What I do is just I take off all these guys because I don't have Katana or anything like that. I put the license server and the pro server. This is what you need, the pro server. Let's just click next. And you will start installing everything. Just wait for this to finish. All right, so now that it's done, you can just click finish. And what will happen here is you're gonna have uh, this folder this one, the pro server 20.2. And uh, inside here, it's uh, everything we need for Renderman. You can see PR man, it's here, it is here. All right, so now we need to set this up with Houdini because right out of the box, it's just gonna give us some errors. So we need this path, so let's copy this path. And all these instructions will work for Windows as well. So just do the same if you are on Windows. So let's open our a Houdini folder, our user Houdini folder, and find the Houdini Houdini.env file. Open it in any text editor. So here it is. It's it's gonna look like this. And you need to put uh, two lines here. You need to put so you need these lines here. You need this Arman tree variable. Add this uh, bin folder to the path so we can execute PRMan. This is the path to where you install RenderMan Pro Server. So copy that. This is the path you need to copy. And you can see there's a bin folder there, which is what we are setting here. We're adding this path plus the bin folder. So now you have this in the Houdini.env file, just save it. If you are on, I don't, I'm not sure in Windows, but I think these variables get set automatically, but I'm pretty sure, pretty sure on Mac it, they, they won't, and in Linux they, they don't. So 
set this for your OS as well if you want to use RenderMan outside of just Houdini. So now that we have that, we can start Houdini. All right, now in Houdini, now that you set those environment variables, Houdini will uh, recognize RenderMan. So there's a few things you need to do. If you go here to the properties, preferences, rendering, if it's not activated, you need to activate this Pixar RenderMan 21. It's always there, but if you activate this before, you don't you don't have actually how to connect it to RenderMan. And so now, if when you do that, if you go here, you see a few RenderMan menus here in, in Chops, and also here, you can create uh, RenderMan uh, output drivers. There's also a shelf. You need to click here in this in this uh, plus sign. Go to shelves. There's a RenderMan RIS shelf. Activate that, and that will give you this shelf, which is pretty damn useful. So now you have this, and you have your RenderMan variables set, you can start using RenderMan. All right, so I have a pretty simple scene here just to show you how to start using RenderMan. And I have my friend Roberto here on the floor. It's pretty simple. It has no textures. So if I go here, just use the shelf for easy creation of, of all the nodes because it involves creating a few nodes. So just choose a shelf, it will create the, the uh, nodes for you really quick. So create a wrist shop, which is gonna be like the render output, which is here. You can see I have this output here. I will create the renderman outputs for you. It will create a, an, an integrator already, and it's gonna connect it here, which is pretty useful. If you go to shops, you can see there's a wrist net here inside there is a path tracer which is the integrator that the RAS needs for the render here all that is created for you when you just click this button which is pretty cool and now we need a shader we can just click here and it will create a shader for us you can see it puts it here in the same place it picks a surface you can use press tab here you can create all the pixar surfaces uh, that are included with pixar which is pretty cool with renderman displacement filters uh, integrators as uh, so different integrators for different kind of stuff patterns and stuff like that everything is available here at this level i'm not going to use a surface for this i'm going to use the basic uh disney disney shader and i'm going to assign this to roberto which is pretty simple just go here and just assign it here i had it there but just click the button here as any houdini material select the disney Disney shader, please press accept. Now in the uh, RIS wrap here, we can just press render to disk. Don't use render to end play, use render to disk. And that will launch uh, RenderMan. This is RenderMan already, but you can see we don't have lights. So let's create a light. We're gonna create a simple dome light. Just control click here. You create the dome light there in your scene. You can see it there, it's pretty big. Now if we click render to disk again, now we get this, and Roberto has the shader, the Disney shader we assign, and the scene is being lit by a, by a global illumination, which is pretty damn cool and pretty damn fast. One thing I like to do here is use the it, which is uh, the imaging tool from Pixar. You can close that, go to display here, and change the display device from what you need to it, and press render to disk again. You can see now it launched it, and I like this because I can see the buckets rendering and it's better uh, feedback here so it's pretty cool and you can see exactly when this finishes so you can see that's done one last thing i want to show you because i know people are going to ask me is how to render how to assign a texture and renderman needs a special format for textures so you can create a texture here pr texture and plug it into the, let's say the base color here. You can see I can assign any kind of texture here. Let me go to textures. I have a, a JPEG here. I have a JPEG here. What RenderMan wants is a text. How do we get this text texture? Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't convert it for us. Like I think in Maya it's automatically, but here it doesn't. So go to your folder. You can see I have my texture here. That's my diffuse texture. I'm just gonna open a terminal here. This is why I, why I meant by adding that path to your global uh, OS environment variables. If you wanna use 
that uh, utilities outside of Genie, you need to set those as well. So I'm gonna use the text make utility and you just need to pass the name of your file, which is this one, and pass an output name. So I just use the same and add text at the end. Press enter, that'll create the texture right there. See now we can select that texture for uh, render man and we can render again. And there we go, we have a texture there. You can see it's a little bit washed. It's more white than we are uh, supposed to be. So for that, click the linearize uh, color here because render man I think is working in a real, in a linear uh, color space for by default. So there we go, now it's a little bit better. So there you go. That's a really fast introduction to how to install and use uh, RenderMan. You can see this is pretty simple, so download it and start using it with Houdini. Pretty exciting times.